Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is June the 27th, 2021. And as in other um, sessions, let's begin by doing a short meditation. So just take a deep breath in, everybody. And let it all out and take another deep breath in and let it all out. Continue to take in deep breaths and then let it all go. Follow the rhythm of your own breathing and use your breathing. Use this deep breath in and deep breath out type of breathing to assist your body to become more relaxed. And as you place more attention on breathing, you can also start to let go of your thoughts. If thoughts happen to come in, then just allow them to come in. No resistance. And allow your thoughts to leave as well. Do not try to engage the thoughts. Just allow it to come in and leave. And as you do that, as you use your breath to relax yourself, and your thoughts as well. You would begin to come into more of a stillness, more calm and peaceful. And when you start to feel the sense of peace, then shift your focus into your heart. Just pay attention to your heart area. Your heart is where you, your soul and your body can communicate. So invite your soul to become fully embodied if it is not fully embodied already. And as you allow the rest of your body to become more peaceful and relax, You allow your soul to become more present. And your soul would be able to take on more. Of a major role. In this moment. When you're in your heart and your soul, just feel, feel the peace, the joy and the love that is inherent in your soul. That is the natural 
part of your soul, the natural qualities of your soul is joy, light, love. Allow this joy, light, love to really shine and become more noticeable. Feel this unconditional love that is the innate quality of your soul and invite this unconditional love to become louder to be more noticeable to truly allow yourself to feel that to feel that joy light love in your body This joy, light, love has always been a part of you. It is you, the real you, your true essence. Long has it been buried and even forgotten. Sometimes life has gotten to be so convoluted and polluted. It has taken up so much of our energy that we don't remember that joy, light, love is our innate quality. Is that part of us that is always there. It may be a quiet, still, small voice that is being overwhelmed by other seemingly more urgent concern in life. that is not appropriate. In each moment, no matter what is happening, no matter what you think is happening to you, you may feel that the world is closing in and you seem to be in grave danger. But the truth is far away from that. Your internal dialogue is deceiving you in each moment, no matter what is going on. Peace, joy, love is always available.
allow yourself, tear yourself away from focusing on just one small part of the scenery that is trying to convince you that there is danger all around. When you can step back and be able to see the whole picture, you would realize that there are so much more going on There is always so much good, so much that is beautiful, even though there are some parts that are not going the way that we wish it to go. In each moment, Remind yourself to not just focus on the danger and the bad, but also notice that there is always joy, light, love, even in the most precarious of situation, even in the most dangerous situation, there is beauty and love. If only you would let go of your narrow focus, and see the full picture. There is so much more varieties, so much more opportunities that is available in every moment. Do not allow yourself to be trained and focus only on the things that you don't like. If you look further Every situation always has a silver lining. There is always sweetness. That is the nature of human beings. That is the brilliance of a human being that no matter how grim a situation may be, we can always find the goodness in it. We are always able to make peace. With things that we cannot change.
and be able to look past that and start to focus more on the things that we can change. On the love that is available in each and every moment. That is the brilliance of the human spirit. That is the brilliance of the limitless soul. We are creators, we create solutions. That is what we are good at. We may not be able to always find the solution, in that instant. But where there is a will, there is a way, we will find the solution, we will find that balance. That is our genius, our brilliance. That is something that we can always count on. This wonderful human collective, when we come together when we can work with one another. When we finally figure it out that we need to work together to support one another, the answers will come. It may be something that is beyond one person. But there is nothing that a group, a collective, cannot solve. There is power in coming together as a group. That is why division has always been a tool for our own suppression. It 
because when we can look past our differences, and start to see one another truly as the playmates that we are, and can start to hold out our hands for one another, to assist one another. and to walk together, to find the solutions together. That is when we can make the most changes, the most advances, the most transformation is when we learn how to work with one another, to come together as a group. set aside our differences and start to creatively find solutions to the problems that we have created for ourselves. to break through. It is time to find your group. It is time. to reach out and look for creative solutions. The time for solving all your own problems. Has gone. We are walking into the time of oneness. Time of working as a collective. to consciously remember that we are all one. And as you look out and meet someone else's gaze, when you meet their eyes, look at them as if you are looking into your own eyes. This is me, also me. A part of me that is from a different life, a different set of parents, but still another part of me.
when we can live like that, to see one another truly as another aspect of ourselves. Have compassion for their journey. It is not that we need to co-depend on each other. But what we can do is to recognize that we are all the same being only in different bodies. And because we have different experiences, we have different solutions. And to share our own unique solutions and we can share that and we are able to let go of our own narrow-minded way of looking at a situation when we can assimilate that there are as many ways of looking at a situation as there are different people looking at them. When we can share this different perspectives and be able to think of our differences as a unique advantage for each of us to come at the same situation from different angles, we would be able to transcend situations that had stopped us or slowed us down before because we have different perspectives now. And that is the way, that is how, as a collective, we can move through situations much faster. when we are truly able to look into someone else's eyes and notice the similarities are much more abundant than our differences.
that is where we are going, where we are moving towards. See that now. See that for yourselves now. See beyond the differences. See how you are simply a part of the whole. You are this mindset, and you are all mindset. You are this thought, and you are all thoughts. Start to zoom out. Start to let go of hanging on to just one set of possibilities and allow yourself instead to consider all possibilities. instead of focusing on you are this body imagine that you are all bodies And see the world from this perspective. That you are everyone. You are everything. Imagine how it feels like. When you are not focused on just your own body. What does it feel like to be in another's body?
This is a skill. A skill that once we have mastered this skill, it will completely change. How we are able to live. It is the way to start to live in possibilities. When you can look at a situation from very different points of view, it's much easier to diffuse a situation that you don't particularly want to experience. It is and can be that simple to simply look at it as though you are someone else, as though you are many someone else. That is all made possible when we let go of the box that we have put ourselves in. We are so much more than this body. We have forgotten, we have forgotten the joy, of living.
That is what we came here for. We came here to play. experience to feel the transformation To experiment and see what it feels like when we try something different. We wish to experience fear because we have been fearless before. And did we ever get saturated by this fear? This fear is simply one alternative. It's not the only way to live. It is very possible to live beyond fear, to live from moment to moment in joyful wonder, expectation, when we can let go of all the expectations and simply go back to doing what we have come here to do in the first place. To play, to explore. Give yourself permission to play full out. Tap into that inner wellspring. Tap into that joy, light, love. Tap into your ability to play.
you did not come here to sit and simply observe the world go by. You came here to participate, to play. What are you ready to play for? What are you ready to play with? If you have no fear whatsoever, not a fear in your bone, what would you be ready to play? What would you be ready to experience today? We wish that you would play, that you would let go of being you and embrace all of yourself, all other aspects of yourself. To play with and work with all other aspects of yourself. To build up and start to put your energy into human collective. We are all part of it. We are all intricately related to the human collective. We are the human collective. Each and every one. We can influence it. We can be influenced by it. Or we can completely introduce something that has never been considered before. The more we're able to be expansive and play expansively, the more we can stretch and modify the human collective. Everything we do is influenced by it. And we are always also 
influenced by the collective. It is a living circle, a living cycle. What do you want to create that is unique? And is available for everyone else to tap in as an experience or to take your experience to new heights to extend your experience. That is the potential, the infinite potential of our human collective. Feel the love, feel the call to join and play. It is not time to sit out. It is time to play all out. We wish you all to take this opportunity and enjoy enjoy life enjoy all that having a physical body having an emotional body having mental body All of these things they are a gift to assist you in learning in learning who you are we wish you would take full advantage of having this body. That is our message for this session. Thank you for allowing us to communicate with you again. We love you very much. Enjoy light love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>